Today we're going to be talking about power series multiplication, and in this particular problem we're going to be talking about how to use power series multiplication to find the first three non-zero terms of the given Maclaurin series. The Maclaurin series we've been given is the equation y equals e to the negative x squared times cosine of x. Now the way that we're going to do this is first by recognizing that we have two functions, one is e to the negative x squared, the other is cosine of x, that are already well-known Maclaurin series. So for example, we already know that the Maclaurin series of cosine of x is defined by this function here, and the power series expansion of this series comes out to be 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the 4 over 4 factorial, etc. Similarly, e to the x is already a well-known Maclaurin series, and we have its sum identified here. Now, our function is not exactly e to the x, it's e to the negative x squared. So what we need to do is realize that e to the x and e to the negative x squared are identical, except that in the place of x here, we've substituted negative x squared. So what we need to do is substitute negative x squared into our summation notation here. So we'll get the sum from n equals zero to infinity, and in place of x right here, we'll put in negative x squared. So we'll get negative x squared to the n over n factorial. And when we expand that, we can just plug negative x squared in for x into this power series. So we'll get 1 plus, and now here in place of x, we'll plug in negative x squared. So we'll get negative x squared over 1 factorial plus, here we'll plug in negative x squared again. We'll get negative x squared squared over 2 factorial plus, again here, negative x squared to the third power over 3 factorial. And when we simplify this, we'll get 1 minus x squared divided by 1 factorial is still just negative x squared plus x to the fourth over 2 minus x to the sixth over 6. And this continues on like this, but we can just use these couple terms here. So that's the power series expansion of e to the negative x squared. Now we need to use power series multiplication to find the Maclaurin series expansion of this function here. So let's clear some space and we'll do that. The reason we're using power series multiplication is because we have e to the negative x squared multiplied by cosine of x. And so we see that these are both well-known or close to well-known Maclaurin series already. And so we know that if we multiply the power series expansion of the two of these, then we'll get the Maclaurin series of the function as a whole. So we'll go ahead and take this cosine of x power series expansion here and multiply it by the power series expansion of e to the negative x squared. We'll get 1 minus x squared, we're rewriting the cosine of x function here, x squared divided by 2 plus x to the fourth divided by 4 factorial, which is 24, minus x to the sixth over 6 factorial, which is 720, and then we can say plus dot dot dot. Then we're going to multiply that by this one here. So 1 minus x squared plus x to the fourth over 2 minus x to the sixth over 6 plus dot dot dot. And we'll go ahead and draw a line under these. And now this is just like multiplication that we learned in grade school. What we're going to do is we're going to take the first term here in the top row, which is 1, and we're going to multiply it by every other term in the bottom row. So 1 times 1 gives us 1. 1 times negative x squared gives us a negative x squared. 1 times x to the fourth over 2 gives us plus x to the fourth over 2 and then one times negative x to the sixth over six gives us minus x to the sixth over six. Now we're gonna take the second term, negative x squared over two, and multiply it by every other term in the bottom row. So negative x squared over two times one is negative x squared over two. Now we wanna put this right here under the term that already has x squared so that our x squared terms line up. So we'll get negative x squared over two Negative x squared over 2 times negative x squared gives us a positive x to the fourth over 2, which we put under the term where we already have x to the fourth. So we're basically lining up our degrees here. Then we do negative x squared over 2 times a positive x to the fourth over 2 is a negative x to the sixth over 4. 
Now, if we repeat this process with x to the fourth over 24, we'll get x to the fourth over 24 times one. So we'll just get x to the fourth over 24. x to the fourth over 24 times negative x squared gives us a negative x to the sixth over 24. And we could keep going, but what we notice here is that we're looking for the first three non-zero terms. Well, we're gonna end up adding all of these together and getting the sum of all of these rows. When we add all these together, we'll add them in columns like this. We'll notice that this first column is gonna give us our first non-zero term. The second column will give us our second non-zero term. And the third column will give us our third non-zero term. So we're never going to end up needing this last column here. We can ignore it, and we don't need to go further than that. So now we just need to add these together. Obviously, in our first column here, we'll get 1. In our second column, we'll get negative x squared minus an x squared over 2. Basically think of that as negative one x squared minus one half x squared, which is negative three halves x squared. And then in our third column, we have x to the fourth over two plus x to the fourth over two is x to the four over one, or just x to the fourth, plus x to the fourth over 24. When we add those together, we get plus 25 over 24 x to the fourth. And again, we could keep going, but of course we have our first three non-zero terms of our Maclaurin series. So we can say e to the negative x squared cosine of x is going to be approximately equal to this series, and we could continue, you know, minus dot dot dot, but those are our first three terms. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.